Hello guys, it's me, I'm Aradek from Duomly. I'm the core developer here and I do front-end, back-end development and welcome in the new series when we will be talking about interview questions. I selected a lot of questions that people, that users, you and other people are asking about the technologies that we have knowledge with. Actually, we will be dividing that technologies for the few smaller movies we will be trying to tell about the technology, about that keyword. As far as we can go with whole episode and I will do it to make it the easiest to understand even for super beginners. So if you have not knowledge about programming yet, I'm sure it will be still good for you and you will get value. So you don't need a lot of programming background. You can be totally newbie. It will be really nice too. Today we will talk about... Here is the name of the topic that we will talk today. And remember, if you like the video, give us thumb up and subscribe the channel and turn on notifications. It's really important because you will see the next episodes as the first. Let's start. So, of course, if we think about if statement in JavaScript or TypeScript logic, it's exactly the same as in every JavaScript or TypeScript place. It's just if else like pure JavaScript. But in the, this case, we won't talk about the normal if else. In React, we will need if statement for one more thing. It's the rendering. Actually, it's named conditional rendering in the React but to make it simple, let's stay with if statement in the React. They are the two most popular ways to use conditional rendering that we will see in the React.js code. And depends on the case, both of them can be correct. The first way that we can see on the code example, we can use to define the conditional rendering directly in the components layout. Actually, it's quick and easy that we will use the most probably and in some cases it's even the best for the performance. We will be using this way in cases when we have only one condition, more just as if, when we would like to render some element when a specific specified condition is passed. But we have one more, a bit more complicated way that we should use. That second way is the function created to handle specified parts of the layout and render it conditionally to do that what we can use not only if else but with the switch case as well. This one is right to use in cases where we have more conditions, especially the example with switch one. But it fires the function anyway, so it is no sense to use it when we have one condition. Let's take a look on the code example. I created both of them here. First one is about that normal conditional rendering inside the return. And second one is the conditional rendering based on the function. Great, now you know how to use if statement in React. Congratulations! <laughs>